My name is Todd. I am a missionary and an evangelist here in southeast Minnesota. I come out here on a regular basis to proclaim the gospel to a lost and dying world. That includes anybody and everybody you could possibly think of. Anybody that you know is part of the lost and dying world. In today's culture, it's pretty normal or popular to question the Bible. I, I get it. I understand. You should question anything that claims to be an authority. But oftentimes what is done in questioning the scriptures is to challenge the Bible from a cultural perspective and to say that scripture or the Bible is not authoritative because it was written at a different time, that it was written to a different culture. I've had people comment to me and say to me, well, the Bible is misogynistic. It, the Bible teaches that women are second-class citizens. I've had people say that the Bible teaches hatred and bigotry and, and discrimination against different groups of people, different classes, if you will, whether it be based on ethnicity or gender or sexual preferences. I want to clarify for anyone who's hearing this today is that the scriptures, the Christian scriptures, the books that make up the Old and the New Testament are not books that, if you will, engender any type of bigotry or hatred. The scriptures are not authoritative because man has said so. The scriptures are authoritative because God has declared it so, and that what God teaches in the Word, what God has taught us, is that the Bible is a book of truth. And it has to be, because God is the source of truth. Without the God of creation, there can be no absolutes. There can be no moral truths. If you try to de define morality, if you try to define what is good and what is evil without an abstract external other to make that definition, you can have no source or definition of truth. And so while it's, like I said, it's popular to point at things like the Bible and, and say, well, look, it teaches hatred for this type of people or it, it teaches that certain people are second-class citizens. That's, that's a misunderstanding. And really, what you're doing if you make that argument or what you're trying to do if you make that argument is you're trying to dismiss truth. You're coming up with your own argument for why you don't have to listen to and obey the God of creation. Me? Okay. You have a great day, sir. So as I was saying, there, there has to be a source for truth. And when you deny that source, when you 
determine in your own mind that you are going to make an argument against what is good and evil based on your own thoughts and your own, if you will, your own preconceived notions, then you have to argue against God, not against man. to take what happened here just a second ago the individual the, the gentleman was upset because I apparently was disturbing his leisure that's a uh, recorded historically in the Bible and in other places that there's a lot of things that will not bother people or get under their skin they can sit by all sorts of disturbing sounds and noises and not be bothered, but the minute you mention the God of Christianity, all of a sudden leisure has been interrupted. And so as, I, as I've been saying, you have to have an abstract source for truth. One of the common arguments today is, is well, what's true for me is true for me, and what's true for you is true for you, and we can both be right. Well, the problem with that is, is that if we have diametrically opposed views, if we disagree about something, we can't both claim to be right and have us actually both be right. One of us has to be wrong, or both of us are wrong, but we cannot both be right if we disagree. Again, that takes us back to maybe, if you will, a philosophical reality that you have to have an external other, uh, an external abstract for how you determine what is true. Our current culture today, the, the realm that we, we live in, if you will, is predominantly postmodern. There was modernity, there was pre-modernity, and now there's post-modernity. And post-modernity is that over overabundance of thought in the world today that I mentioned that we can all have our own truth. And the further we get from the incarnate Christ, historically and chronologically the the further we get into man doing what is right in his own eyes and and it leads to all manner of justification it's some people would say the slippery slope I'm not a big fan of the slippery slope argument I don't think that there's anything new under the sun the Bible says that the the very wise king of Israel, Solomon, wisest man and wealthiest man that ever lived. Solomon himself said in his book, in his, in his poetry, the, the book of Ecclesiastes, he said there is nothing new under the sun. And so what I mean by us getting further away from the incarnate Christ is we have come to a place in culture today where because we have dismissed absolute truth, we then also have to dismiss a source for morality. We have to also then dismiss any type of judgment call. So if you see something that you think is wrong, and you have separated yourself from an abstract source for truth, you also then have separated yourself from an abstract source, source for morality and righteousness. And when you've done that, you cannot judge anything as wrong. So, without God, and without the Scriptures, there's no way to define or even say that murder is wrong. How are you guys doing? You been to, Is that Whitefish, Montana? Yeah, I've been there. 
Oh, I love whitefish. There's, there's absolutely just no way to define something as being evil or right if you don't have God. And that's really the end goal of postmodern thought. We want to, if you will, deconstruct God. We want to deconstruct standards. Because we want to do, as the scriptures say, what is right in our own eyes. Hi. I do. Bible Chapel. I just heard you. I thought, hey, heard, I so heard you're up you. from Center. <laughs> yeah, we are. Just, I'm Todd. Yeah, good okay. to officially oh. meet you. Yeah, you are. Chris Clender. So, Clender, yeah. the Clenders. I yeah. think I see you on Facebook. You or probably have. Yeah. Well, that's so awesome. Yeah, I'm Todd. You. I just so. saw you here, and I know you were friends of Ezra, and I'm like, oh yeah. Go say hello. Good you're like, you. there's that guy out there. There's that guy out there <laughs> preaching Jesus. I, I was standing it. on that rock right there really? when I when I met Pastor oh, Chelsea. Oh, you're kidding. Seriously. That was, yeah, you last year here. here I was oh, preaching, and they were up for a wedding in oh. Spring Valley, oh, which is yeah. where I live. Oh, awesome. And they were going to go to the wedding and the reception, which was a block oh. and a half from my house. That was the very first time I ever oh, met them. So. You. Have you been up to Bethany? It feels like you We visited Bethany. Once. We came down to worship uh, okay. with them once when we okay. were between churches. Okay. And then I came down a few weeks ago on okay. Sunday uh, night and... Okay. Oh, um, evangelized with them? Evangelized with awesome. them with my son. Oh, good. Uh, we went down to East Waterloo. Okay. and. Good. Awesome. Uh, and then I was just down last week on Wednesday to the university oh, and did oh, some camping. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, so, good. That's good. What was your name again? Chris. Plunder. Chris. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to so, remember that. So. Yeah. That was awesome. Thanks yeah. for coming over and saying hi. Yeah. So are you just up for the day? Or? Yeah, I am. We are up for the day. And then um, my daughter, after we have to be home tonight, she's having some friends from Turkey Hill Bible Camp. A lot of I've our heard of it, church yeah. go to. She's having a bunch of them up for the rodeo tonight, so they're gonna. There's a rodeo. There's a rodeo at Cattle Congress in Waterloo, so. That the make, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Cattle Congress is yeah. right there in town. So. so yeah, so we're gonna do that. So. That's awesome. Is your is your hubby with you today? No, or? he's at home. So. Oh. <laughs> he didn't want to shop with us. <laughs> My dad's actually camping out at the campground. So. Oh, down at uh, Eagle yeah. Cliff. Um, no, f- uh, um, what's the highway? What's the highway? Highway. Is there not sure. a name for the camp? Just down, yes, straight right down. Yes, right off the bridge or okay. something. So. Yeah. yeah, so cool. So good for you. Oh. So you live close to here? Uh, about 20 miles over in Spring Valley. Oh, so. Awesome. So what is going on this weekend? I don't even, they must have some biking thing going on? Or? Well, so, so Lanesboro is a hub. Okay. So everything kind of connects in Lanesboro. Okay. It comes from okay. Wayland and Rushford and all that stuff comes okay. from, and then it comes from Preston. Okay. And so Preston is where several trails connect, but then everything kind of flows this way and then heads down. So okay. this is called the Root River Trail System. Okay. And okay. so it follows from like Fountain and Harmony. Okay. And We've never been, I've never been here oh, all my life. I'm like, why have we not been here? Just because it's, because it's 98 miles yeah. away. I know, I mean, but it's only like, two hours. <laughs> it's I, I, not very far. It's so, you know, it's okay. funny because I'll drive. I'll drive to the cities and back. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes twice in a day if something's yeah. going on and I need to make. I've done and I've done that several times. Yeah. And that's an you know two hour trip for me. Okay. Yeah. You know, like we, I took Ethan, my my son. We yeah. we had gone up to IKEA to get some stuff and he bought a desk and we got it put together and okay. and it was warped so we had to take it back okay. and we just popped up there and okay. to return it. Yeah. Yet I'll turn around and I'm like, oh, I want to drive to Austin. I know. <laughs> like I know. thirty miles, you I know. know. I know. I know. I know. So, is that more friends? Yeah. That's my sister and okay. my daughter. Yeah. All right. So, Hi. Yeah, and my you may have been out with Veda evangelizing. She goes out on Sunday evenings. Brooke and I are. There were so many people there. I was oh, just I was in yeah. tears watching the group gather. Yeah. I was oh, like, yeah. I've never had pretty that kind awesome. of. Yeah, so. pretty awesome. No, so I thought I if it wasn't for Facebook, I, I probably wouldn't have. But I'm like, I think that's got to be one of those risk <laughs> friends. So. That's me. Yeah. yeah, yeah love sure. I love those. I, is, I've gotten to know all yeah. of the like the FCA crew and. Oh yeah. And I know. Ken and Lynn, I stopped actually. Oh, I stopped good. over there for about oh, an hour and a half good. after I got done at the campus. Oh, so. good, 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 good. But, uh, hi. Hi. hi, I'm Sheila. Nice hi. to meet you. Beta. Beta. Yeah, I don't remember if she was yeah. there that night or not. So. Maybe not. He, was, he went out evangelizing with Chelsea and Ezra a couple weeks ago. Yeah, about a, uh, almost a month, a ago, month ago now. Ago. Yeah. It was the it last was su- regular Sunday too. night because the next Sunday okay. they were going to. And you may know Noah, my son, tall, tall, blonde kid. He just got married. Noah, well, blondish 
brownish hair. You got know, silly. Yeah. I've he's, seen him on Facebook too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we've actually been met out or not. Evangelizing that night as well. And Sarah, has Sarah gone out? Ooh, Sarah, Sarah hasn't been out a lot, but yeah. yeah. So anyway, well, good to officially meet you. So. Yeah. Thanks for stopping. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't I wait think to. I saw you, probably the back side of you at church and a few weeks when you were there and didn't get to say hello to you so <laughs> yeah we sat in the back so yeah, it'd be very you, there you go so it's always strange when you go into some place for the first time you know everybody and you knows don't, and you, you don't, are right <laughs> and you don't and you don't know anybody and yeah. in yeah. and at that time i may i didn't i wouldn't say i didn't have a facebook presence but i didn't know right. that many people yeah. that were connected to chelsea and ezra yeah it was fun and yeah. so Ooh, now i'm now it's become a regular stomping ground I so love it. So there, met Chelsea and Ezra standing on that I was rock on that rock preaching and yeah, yeah really? preaching oh and God. and awesome. I guess they had been walking they had come up early for a wedding and they wanted to come check out Lanesboro yeah. and they they heard me and they had walked down and I guess Ezra was arguing with himself well okay, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. paraphrasing yep, exactly. the story <laughs> and they he wanted to hear what I was about and what was going on and mm-hmm. uh, watch yeah. the bike trail oh, sure. yeah, um yeah. They wanted to hear what was going on and what, what I was, what I was about, and I guess they kind of hemmed and hawed and walked around the block listening, and and all of a sudden I looked, and I'm standing there and I looked, and they were coming straight down the trail, yeah. and you know Ezra's not a small guy, no, right, <laughs> at no. all. You probably had his beard folks. then too. Yeah, he had his beard, uh-huh. and uh, I was a little bigger too, but not that big. I, <laughs> like, but here's this big redheaded guy coming at me, and I'm in my, I'm still preaching. And in my mind, I'm saying this is either going to go really, really well, or this is going to go really, really bad because that is a big man coming at me. And he, and he walks up to me and he says, "So what is the gospel of Jesus Christ?" And I'm like, "That was amazing." Because <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, so <laughs> yes." And then, and then I answered him, and, and it was funny because I, they prayed for me. We talked for I bet 20, 25 minutes, and they, they prayed for me and. They didn't even get out of town, and Chelsea sent me a friend request on oh, Facebook, yes. oh, yes. and uh, awesome. and that that just started it. It, it was it just started it all. So it's, it's, it's the the spirit Yay. the spirit works and draws and unifies us in ways yeah. that we will uh, never be able to grasp or understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And that being able to rejoice when you meet another believer and. And, and it's funny because I, I didn't even know if it was going to come out today because the weather was oh, so yeah, was cruddy okay, and it's yeah. been even raining off and on since I've been down yeah. here mm-hmm. and I've been kind of standing here a little deflated and I saw a crowd of people gathering and I was like, I'm going to start preaching yeah, and I'm, I'm getting into it and then some guy up there got mad at me. Oh. Oh. Then I turned around and there were people watching from over there. It was an older couple and I'm like, uh, every it's like every time I've been down here in the last month and a half, I, Okay. Somebody calls cops. Oh. <laughs> so okay. I'm like, oh boy, here we go again. And mm-hmm. then you started walking over and I'm like, okay. is she going to say, hey, it's a little too loud. Can no. you, we're trying to shop in peace. I'm no. like, oh, oh, no. like <laughs> yeah, you just don't know what's going on. Oh yeah. And I'm just like, oh. and so yeah, it was, I really appreciate you coming over. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh. So if I hadn't come out, I wouldn't have. No, I know. I know. was like, that's gotta be him. Like, yeah. Who, yeah. yeah. I'm so was... thankful you're so bold to get out mm. here. And oh, yes. I tremble every time thank I do you. this, sister. Oh, thank you, thank you. No. Yeah. Completely unworthy of the calling. So. And you know, the Lord will bless you for all of this. But I'm so excited that I got to meet you. So. Oh. Perfect. This is a great. I was wondering yeah. how you did. You got your speaker here. Yep. The sound is really good. So whether they're coming up and listening to you or you know you may oh so you can hear me from yeah. I never know how far away no, people are I can are. hear you over there and then I that's why I peeked out but it, the sound is clear and good, oh, good. so that's mm-hmm. thank the Lord for that's that. one of the reasons so, why yeah. I use amplification because I don't like to um like on campus they just asked me last week they said don't use don't use the amp it's disturbing oh, okay. classes at first I thought it was more of a hey don't use the amp and then they said hey look mm-hmm. the teachers say that they're it's disturbing class I'm like that oh, I get okay yeah. gotcha. but it it's very hard I mean I can raise my voice but you know how when you raise your voice even yeah, if you yeah. try to keep a bass yes, yes. sound in it it mm-hmm. still yeah. sounds more yeah. aggressive and hostile yeah. and the last thing that yeah. the world needs right now is more oh, representations of Christ that are mm-hmm. graceless and hostile and, yeah. and then sadly there are people out there that have given open-air gospel preaching a really bad oh, I name think some of the fear those are not used to it they don't hear it they don't see it we don't mm. see it anymore so when I saw you I was like you know, if I didn't know who you were, I might have been hesitant, but I thought, I know who that is. So even if they 
knowing you're sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just not it, something. Well, I do. I really appreciate you guys coming over and yeah. saying yeah. stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. And I say guys generically. I hope you're that right. doesn't bother no, you. No, don't. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't. Well, we'll keep praying for you. Yeah, well, thank, thank you. Thank you. So um, much for doing thank it. you. So why don't you? Uh, why don't you? Uh, awesome. Would you like them? I would like one. Thank Send you. me if you're on Facebook. Thank you. um, I, oh, I bet you probably mom probably smart enough yeah. to let you on there yet. Yeah. No, she. Well, oh. no, no, she's not on. I am, but yeah, no, not yet. But. So. Yeah, I found you, and you were giving a very good message. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Oh, you were uh, were you with your husband yeah. over here? Yeah, my visitors from Georgia. Oh, oh well, awesome. nice. That's we're far freezing away. up here. Yeah, I bet oh. you are. It's a yes, little chilly today. Yes, it was chilly even for yeah. us last night. Yeah. It's a hundred in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. really. Oh, really. yeah. You what, need to have your. What part of Georgia home. are you from? Little Georgia, not too far from Atlanta. Oh, I have cousins. I, uh, one of my cousins is in nursing school at I think it's the Baptist University there. If I remember That's in correctly, Atlanta. in Atlanta, and then I have another, and they're from Brunswick, so she's, yeah. so they're right on the coast. Yeah. So and my cousin and my uncle live down there. Are you so. affiliated with the church? Uh, well, I I go to Trinity Presbyterian in Rochester. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not a P C. Is that a PCA? It's PCA. Yeah. yeah not PCUSA. It's right. PCA. So it's a PCA church, and uh, the ministry is called If Only Even One. I have a board of directors that watches my videos and makes sure I'm not treating people. Horribly, I am human, so sometimes somebody will say something, and I might get a little snarky sometimes. So, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Are you out here always on the weekends? Um, on my weekends off, I live 20 miles away, so I try to get down here because, as you can see, as the weather gets better, yeah. uh, the traffic increases some. So, yeah. I was down yeah. here two weeks ago, and it was packed. There were, I, I bet I, I bet I saw over 2,000 people. Oh my wow! Goodness. Do many so. people stop and talk with you? Um, most of the time, what I get are detractors. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be. A, yeah. So it's, yeah, it is very. It's very encouraging to have you stop and, and all of you to be encouraging because, in in the small world, is is that I was on that rock over there last year when I met a man that they go to church with. Yeah, and we're from. Oh, out yeah. of, and they're from out of yeah. town too. Yeah. So. Are you from Minnesota? No, we're from Iowa. Iowa. But yeah. I saw him and just through friends and Facebook, I thought I think I know of this person, so I need to say hello. So what a blessing. Yeah. Well, you know, my husband grew up in Langstock. Oh, oh. and we're just walking in the stores up there. Yeah. And town's changed a lot since he was here. Two of the stores have uh, an array of theme socks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with bulldogs yeah. or yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, whatever. And some of the socks had the F yes. word. Oh, yes, yes, they did. Them. I saw that too. Yeah, well, it's just like, crazy. What on earth? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I know. It's and we so complained. Bad. We told the lady, and oh, she yeah. said, well, I'm quitting. I'm about to quit working. Oh, yeah. Oh. Isn't that sad? Oh. It's so I know. sad. What yeah. our young people are getting exposed to. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. you. You're getting a good <laughs> counter. Yeah. yeah they're in a, okay. they're in a good, good church with good elders. Good yeah. 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 So. They have a, their church has a, a group of people. I, I went down to, about a month ago and yeah. on a Sunday evening, and we went to a, 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 a East Waterloo, which is not a... Uh, it's not a no, safe place no, no, no. and we went to yeah. east waterloo and they evangelized down there on a regular basis on sundays and we went out to several different parks in the area and preached and had some good conversations and they had i bet there were at least 30 people so you attend a church but you don't do you pastor at a church? i i do not no. i have a, i have a, it was what was your name shirley shattuck, shirley shattuck? Mm -hmm. well wow. if you're if you That's use good. email or Facebook at all. Look me up. I'd love to. Uh, okay. Love to have. Yeah. I don't subscribe to Facebook. Oh, that's don't. I don't blame you. It's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's like a dark hole sometimes. It so. is. At least you can pray. But yeah, yeah. you can pray for me, and if you use email, I'd love to hear from you. And I have a website, and I that I put articles on every week and do updates. So. And you are Todd. I am Todd. Yep. Yeah. So. It was yeah, nice to meet you. Take care. Enjoy have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you. I know. It's getting warm. warm. So am I. I was, I was, I was like, if it keeps you? raining, I'm out of here. Well, the Lord's yeah. going to keep you here all Good day. Good luck to you. Thank you yes. very much. God bless. Yeah. Yeah, bless mm -hmm. you, Todd. Yeah. I hope we'll see you next time you're in town. I'll um, see you. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to put together a crew to do one of the UNI home games. Oh, yeah football yes. game so yes. I, I did one last year uh, at the okay. encouragement of the FCA guys they're like okay. you gotta come down and do a football game and then it rained 
Okay. Oh. And of course, then everybody I know that would want to be part of an uh, evangelistic endeavor, of course, was on the football team. Right. So, oh. <laughs> will, you, will you go to the football game as well? Uh, I okay. can't afford that. Well, let me tell you, I just was on the phone with the UNI football salesperson. So if I can get, and Chelsea just talked to me last week, because last year I got the football team people to go and we got ten, $10 for our tickets. So oh. if we can get more than 50 people, which we had 60, once we I put it out there, if you know a weekend you yeah. might be coming, we can I'd ha I, I'd tickets. have to look at the... Yeah, I, look at the schedule. Yeah, my, it's, it I'm seems like to. right now all of their home games are on the weekends that I'm working. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> which yeah. is how so, it always works, right? Well, if it works, yeah. tell Chelsea because we were talking. Yeah. And if it works, because we can probably get a bunch of people in and get a good discount on yeah. tickets, too. And we so, always yeah. have so much fun. Yeah. So, well, thank you. We'll oh, let you Thank you for stopping. And yeah, and so thank you. It was nice to meet that. everyone. Yeah, and we'll hopefully we can that. connect in the future. Yeah, we'll be praying through the day. and. She looks like she's ready to go. Yeah, it's getting hot. I think supposed to rain. She's so ready for food, I think. Yeah, we're going to go get food. Yes. Pedal pushers is a good... That's where we went That's last funny. night. Yeah. That's to go, so... Yeah, awesome. There's a good little pizza... There's a good little pizza place over in Spring Valley that's... How far is Spring Valley from... 20 here? miles, that way. Okay. A little bike on the back. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 20 miles. Okay. It's a literally on 63. Okay. So if you take 60... You know, you probably came up branched off somewhere when you... To come to Lanesboro, but if you just... If you just head out of town and go to and go to Spring Valley, there's a really nice little pizza oh, place in town we there. We think okay. Fresco. Is that the direction? No. Yeah. Know. Or maybe. It, yeah, yeah, I think it was actually. Yeah. Yes, and there's was. a really neat little yes, museum over in. Yes, it was Spring Valley. There's a neat little museum in Spring Valley too. That's uh, uh, the Methodist Church and Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we've been there. Oh. Yeah. Putting it all together my, now. My yeah. daughter and my wife are working today. So. Oh, are they working at the? the mm -hmm. um, Okay, so they're, they're tour guides there, so. Oh, Do you know um, Greneva Brennacorn? No. Okay, she used to, she's the one that refurbished that museum. Oh, I did not. Bars, but anyway, well, thank you yeah, so well, thanks much. Thanks for stopping and, and saying yes, hi yeah. and the encouragement. We'll you. you guys have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thank you.